Is it recording? I was meant to be like an uh, engineer because all of my siblings they are all engineers. I was actually, I tried so hard to be an engineer, but I couldn't eventually. So, for to escape uh, the military service at the early age, like at the really young age, so I had to go to university and I choose statistics. It just happened like naturally. I remember I was not really serious for this course and I was not really showing up in the class but then uh, I had a teacher and then he came up once like hey guys don't worry about your future there are a lot of jobs in outside of the country in US and then I just get the point of oh so let's study and then after that then jump for something else I start photography from the scratch. I just learn everything, every steps on my own. I I try to use the experience of the legendaries. I study their life actually, the way they get really famous, and through those books and through those those videos, then I found what I want from photography. Basically, I've never gone to any any school or I've never taken any any kind of particular courses related to photography because I've, I don't believe in these kind of courses. Photography is not about the camera. You can just learn the technical stuff maybe in like one week or so. But then after that, if you don't have that creative eyes, then you're going to be alone with just one tool in your hand. Then eventually, I've seen a lot of people spending a lot of uh, time and money on the gears and then after that because of they don't have a passion, they don't have that creativity, they don't have that energy that push them to, to work, they just left everything alone. Street photography for me is the way that I can express myself through the different faces, different positions different moods you know because my intention of taking a picture is, is deliver maybe my my own my own feeling at the mo at that moment but what I particularly searching in the street is some people who get lost for me I they attract my eye the most that's why I really love also social documentary photography because in that type of photography then you can get to know some people over over their mask that they just put every day you know I'm searching for those moments those people that is just there but they are truly there you know it's just they are not putting any mask they are so original you know what I've learned is just you have to just trust your eyes if the really small voice back in your mind say, hey, take a picture, you should take a picture. Otherwise, you're gonna just miss a really amazing picture. Most of the time, I don't ask anybody to uh, f for the picture because it's a, it's a public area. You don't have privacy in the public area. But sometimes I stop myself to take some certain pictures. I don't want to take a picture and feel bad about it. In the street you have to give the value to the people and following some rules to make it so beautiful. I cannot imagine my photography, my even personality and everything without traveling. I've been always blessed with moving from one one place to another place. I think the best thing is just move and ju just be on the road because because then you can you can get to know a lot of moments. I think you never you will never grow up if you s just stay in your comfort zone. I find myself always try to get out of this comfort zone. There is uh, something in traveling that you, uh, I cannot find it when I stand still somewhere. It's just, it's a magical thing. 
that I've had a lot of struggles, especially financial problems, but I've always believed that something is happening in the last minute. If you believe in yourself, if you believe in your destiny, then you will be sure that at some moment uh, you're really, really desperate, then there will be the way. And I always had this, those moments, I always had those ways. There came a, time, a different time that I had to just choose instantly and I did it and I, I've never feel a regret about it because I did it and if I go back there again I would do it again and again and again it's just it's just me doing this and if I do exactly the way people the other people do it I'm not gonna be that I'm not gonna be this person I'm gonna be the other person I cannot be my brother even I cannot do as my sister does like we are different people. Like you will never understand these things unless you go back to to your past life, let's say, like you, the the life that you used to have in in your comfort zone. Then see, hey, oh, but I'm not this person anymore. You know, you never see, you never feel the change. But then once you go back there, then you feel the journey that you went through. Whatever I do in the future, I will always travel, I will always do exactly what I do right now, but maybe in a different way. Maybe in the future I will meet somebody, maybe my mood change or I want to make, uh, I want to have a family or something, then there, there will be the time for me to settle down. But till then I have to really struggle, I have to travel here and there and then when the, the times come for settling down I'm not gonna be regret that oh you know people come to me you could have done this you could have done that no I could have done a lot of things but I've done different stuff so I will never feel regret about what I've done what I've done is was to, part of my life part of my story and I just wrote my own story That's it. <laughs>